So today we'll be using a lightweight build that revolves around these daggers here. I have two of them. Daggers got a buff in patch 1.08, so they're actually a lot better now. So I want to try using it. We're gonna be using two of them with this lightweight build. So because we're using a lightweight build, we can make use of the blue dancer charm. So I have about 15.6, that's the hard number. I'm near the soft cap, so I get the middle threshold of the boost to my damage. I could have went to the lowest one, but I kind of want to have some fashion at least. I think the fashion of my character looks pretty nice. And we'll see how they do in PvP. I'm used to always having a high number of poise, so it's going to be very interesting. So if you like ideas like these, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. On to the battles. It's so invincible. Stop that. Man, the rubber on my controller for the R1s, man, it's burning right now from how much I had to click that. And them too. <laughs> Blood loss? Pretty good. A bleed great sword or colossal. Hit a hit. Wow. Close. Yeah, I need this room. Nope, that's not it. They match. <laughs> yeah, if they don't bleed me, I could probably just I could definitely just do a ton of damage. Could earn so much lag for that. Look at games. I guess it's just time to start blasting. <laughs> oh, nice hit. I should just go in. At this rate. Alright, that worked out. What's this is so funny? Oh. Give me another cannon Haima. Give me that support. Hey, you landed lightning strike. That's like a very rare thing for people to land. So that's pretty, that's pretty good. Okay. Nice. And I also switched out my my knives by accident. Oh, that's damage. My drink again. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, spells.
fine. Where are my knights gone? Oh, that's so unfortunate. Because I have no poise. Oh. <laughs> Good match. Oh. Both have big weapons, which is kind of scary. I want to get the Endure kill on him. Ah, oh, you drank. Alright. I think it's better to go outside at this ray. No point being in here. What oh, it hit me. Got you. Okay, what to do? Sad. I strafed it. Oh, bad. It's a tough battle. Yeah, I need to go. I need to leave. I can't be in here. Ooh. Okay. I I could I could keep on pressing on to you. Should you be dead. Drink now. Ooh, a triple. I did not expect the triple swing. <laughs> oh, poise trading. Gotta love it. A good match. Oh, a bleed belt. Level 150. All right, let's back away. I guess I'll get magic, bro. Oh, my 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 friend is doing amazing work. Go get him, friend! Oh, I can't kill this guy. Okay. Alright. Oh no. Oh wow. 
Oh, this guy is like doing amazing work. That's interesting. Oh, watch out. Oh. Alright. It's unfortunate that you took the kill from your friend, otherwise. Okay. Hope you have enjoyed the video. This was me using daggers on a lightly build. This is my equipment. And these are my stats. So this build does dish out a lot of damage. Whenever you, an enemy is like about to trade into you and you do endure, you can get some hits in depending on what the weapon is. If they have really quick weapons, you probably will get a tick of the phantom bleed proc or even one part dagger. If you're using a really heavy weapon or committing to it really hard, you could get a lot of the hits and this could rack up damage really quickly. We use Endure because we do have a light weight, so we do need to poise through damage and through attacks. And we also have Flaming Strike, just so we could do some crowd control and do some instant burst of damage in case there are too many people around you. Because daggers are great for 1v1s, but are terrible for crowd control. So in the video, there are probably moments where you saw that I did a lot of burst damage, and that had to do with a lot of components of the build. Mainly because we are using Flame Arts, we're able to use a lot of Faith Incantations. So with Golden Vow, Flame grant me strength. And our flask that has flame damage increased. Our AR now becomes 695. And if we do get consecutive hits, which our daggers are able to get pretty easily, we'll hit around the middle, like mid 700s. So that's, that's pretty good for two small weapons. In invasions, this build did surprisingly well. I think because everyone kind of uses like a variety of weapons and also a variety of armor, it's able to shine pretty well. In the Colosseum, because everyone does use a certain amount of armor to get a specific poise point, these daggers do fall off. So usually when I find myself, even in, when I do Endure, either they use a weapon that's like far reaching so I can punish it, or they're using, or they have high poise damage where they just get one part of the hit and they could just roll out of it effortlessly, even if they are committing a pretty long animation. So unfortunately, you're not able to dish out a lot of damage, though there are scenarios where enemies do get kind of like uh, hungry for the kill, so they do R1 a lot, and that's where you can actually make this work. But other than that, I don't think this is the best build for the Colosseum. But it's definitely fun to use, because I do like light rolling. So overall, I'll say the daggers are definitely a lot better than they were before, but they're definitely not, I don't know, they're not my favorite weapon. They do damage really quickly, but I feel like because of how little poise damage they do, and what everyone kind of wears now for in terms of armor pieces and for to be specific points points. I don't think it's the best, but whenever you do get that flurry and you get that big burst of damage, it's a lot of fun. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. Catch you in the next video.